Growing up in India, I missed out on learning Hindi, the language that connects more than half a billion people. And when I finally tried speaking it, well, let's just say, my first attempts were like a funny dance routine, a mix of confusion, tongue twisters, and expressions that probably left native speakers scratching their heads. But then my journey took a twist. I stumbled upon an app that magically turned a video of me and a popular Hindi script into a fluent fake video. Suddenly, there I was, a fluent Hindi speaker on screen, like magic. I was blown away by the result. It's a testament to how far technology has come. Yet, right then and there, a bunch of red flags popped up in my mind. This was incredible, but it also had me wondering about the flip side. How easily could this be misused to spread false information? And that concern seems valid when we look at how generative artificial intelligence is increasingly becoming an artistic creator. It can now mimic any writer's unique style, churning out entire novels without attribution. It can doctor images of people with harmful intent. And it can create fake videos that blur the lines between fiction and reality. In fact, earlier this year, some high school students in Carmel, New York, created a fake video of a principal from a nearby school saying racist, vulgar, and aggressive things. The video stormed through social media, damaging the school's reputation. As someone who's deeply involved in the world of AI, it hit me hard to see the technology I'm so passionate about being used for deception and manipulation. It's like a dark sequel to the social media saga, where misinformation can actually harm real people. And I've seen this firsthand. A few years ago, my cousin started practicing Kundalini Yoga by just watching online videos and without any guidance. It led him down a path of mental instability and isolation from family. He even went without food for days, ultimately leading to his tragic death. So when you combine the ease of creating harmful or misguided content with just few text prompts, with the power of social media to spread it, we have a recipe for disaster. The reality today is that most generative AI systems remain in research or experimental modes, and they are trained on publicly available data mixed with some licensed data and content curated by human trainers. What's deeply concerning is that public information often contains societal biases, misinformation, and inaccuracies baked right in, and these systems learn from it with all its flaws and biases. And here's the thing. These systems acknowledge the possibility of generating inaccurate or offensive information, showcasing how easily it can be harnessed for malicious intent. So when we engage with these systems, it is our collective responsibility to be curious we should go for AI systems that make safety a priority. Give us answers that we can validate. And let us see how they work, all while staying ethical. A simple way we can do this is by having conversations with them. Ask an AI system to explain its safety principles and policies and see how it responds. 
instead of slogging through complex terms and services and privacy policy documents, we now have a chance to get insights through its summarization capabilities. Also, ask it point blank, when should I not trust you? Knowing when to abstain from using these tools is just as vital and prepares you to make informed decisions. When you see AI-generated content that raises concerns, simply hit that flag button. Unlike social media, where flagging content is used to report rule violations, in AI systems, your voice plays a vital role in maturing these tools and helps them keep on the right track. Before sharing AI-generated content, take a moment to ask questions like, where did this info come from? Or how did you arrive at this? Just like with a friend, insisting on transparency helps ensure accuracy and avoids spreading false information. So by carefully evaluating generative AI systems, the content they produce, and by providing feedback, we can harness AI as our superpower. So the next time you interact with a generative AI system, have a conversation with it. Ask it to explain its capabilities, limitations, and training data sources, allowing you to better understand its strengths, weaknesses, and trustworthiness. That's your immediate impact. And it can truly shape the experience, not just for you, but for everyone. Our active participation can channel toward a future where AI's potential amplifies rather than obscures the brilliance of human potential. <laughs>